Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about here is seeing the gas pressure sensor taking us through a safe start. On the main screen, we can see here the burner has been disabled. So first thing I'm going to do is turn the burner on. Now the burner is going to go through a safe start. We start off with a relay test. Now pressing on my gas drain, I can look at my gas valve setup. I got two main gas valves and a vent valve, and here's my pressure. First thing we're going to do is open the gas valve, the vent, to zero the pressure between the two valves. At this point, we're holding the gas between the valves and hoping this pressure remains. If this pressure remains, it means our downstream valve and our vent valve are not leaking. Once we've done that, we're then going to continue with the safety start. So now we're running to purge. The blower's running and the air damper is going to the full purge position. Only when the damper gets to the full purge do we actually start the purge time. So here we're running to purge. On this particular burner, we've also got a variable speed drive. So we can now hear the drive getting up to full speed. The damper has to be there and the variable speed drive has to be at full speed. Okay, we're now at full speed. We can then go through the purge period. And you can see here, we're going through purge. Our blower's running. When we get to the end of the purge cycle, we're then gonna run the air damper and open the gas valve to a light off position. And also reducing the speed of the variable speed drive. Okay, we're now at the end of the purge and we're now going down to the lie off. We can hear our drive slowing down. The air damper's closed off. Air damper, the gas valve is opened. We've now got ignition, pilot gas and ignition. We then stop the spark and just prove the pile of gas on its own. Only when we've proven the gas do we then open up the main gas valves. Our overlap time is adjustable within the flame safeguard, but only to UL codes. We then turn off the pilot and run the main gas and prove we have a stable flame. Only then do we release to modulate and then we start to fill up the box. All the time this is going on, I can see my flame signal here. Pressing the history, I can see the flame signal strength versus the firing rate. 